Hey everybody, we are going to make a handmade book. It's going to be a two-part series. The first part, we're going to sew all the pages together, and I'm going to show you how step-by-step. Step. And then the second one, we'll put a cover on it. So, before we go any further, let me remind you to subscribe if you haven't already, give it a thumbs up, and if you want notifications of future videos, tap the bell. Welcome to the Art Project. The first thing you're going to need to do is pick out some paper. Um, I used some watercolor paper. It was kind of a cheap sergeant pad of watercolor paper. The paper is pretty thick and so I just took the pad and I took it apart page by page. Uh, once I had the entire uh, page of uh, the entire pad torn apart I uh, set the cover aside and I got out my bone folder. This is a special little folder. You don't need this. You can use a ballpoint pen or plastic spoon or something like that. It just kind of helps keep from uh, wearing your fingers out. You're going to fold every page in half. And uh, every time I fold it in half, I take my little bone folder or spoon or whatever you want to use and press it down and give it a nice crease. I did this individually for all 25 sheets that were in the watercolor pad. If I fold it in half, that gives me like 50 pages. So uh, each section, uh, you're going to put all of your pages together into sections called signatures. So I'm going to group pages together in sets of five and each set of five is a signature. Remember that word from here on out because I use the word signature a lot. A signature is basically a group of five pieces of paper folded one inside the other. Um, once I've done that, uh, I'm going to mark the spine, the folded end, the folded edge of every one. Uh, I want to give it an odd number. Uh, you can do three or five or seven. Uh, but I'm going to do five and I put a mark one inch from the bottom, one inch from the top, one right in the middle of the spine, and then two marks, one in the middle of the top and the middle, one in the middle of the bottom and the middle, uh, if that makes any sense. They're evenly spaced, um, except the top and bottom are one inch away from the top and bottom hope that made sense. If it doesn't make sense, maybe ask me in the comments and I'll try and make it clearer in a reply to you. Uh, then I took those marks and I just made them all the way across all five signatures in the same place. And then I'm going to make holes. Uh, I'm going to do it using just this nail and this hammer. I'm going to put a block of wood underneath my paper. I'm going to put the cover that I tore all the paper out of on top of the block of wood just to kind of keep my paper from getting dirty to keep my book pages from getting dirty and I'm going to take my hammer and nail and I'm going to knock a hole on top of each mark that I made uh, later on I had to come back and press the nail all the way through the holes just to make them easier to get the thread through uh, but step number six you're going to sew the first signature now the first signature is different than the rest and as you can see here, I'm using fishing line. I tied a knot at the beginning of the fishing line. I rolled out enough fishing line to do all of the book. Uh, if I were to run out, I could just tie it off wherever I run out. Uh, but you don't have to use fishing line. You could use just about any kind of uh, thread. I recommend you back the video up and pause it on that little diagram that I had there. And there are going to be two more diagrams in this video that you could pause on. Essentially, I went in and out of all the holes, um, starting with the knot on the inside of the book first and pushing the, uh, the fishing line or the thread out, and then back in the next hole, and then out the third hole, and then in the fourth hole, and then out the fifth hole, and so on. And then I went back the other direction. And this is why there has to be an odd number of holes, so that when you get um, out then you end up going back in and so on until you get down to the very end and you finish by going out of the book uh, the thread has a tendency to get caught on the pages or itself or anything and everything that's just something you have to kind of practice the first uh, time you do the book you're gonna get it caught on everything 
but every time you do a, another book you get better at it and you'll learn how to keep from getting your thread or your fishing line or whatever you're using to sew it together you'll learn how to keep it uh, from getting caught on everything uh, every time you push it through a hole you should pull it tight uh, just keep pulling it tight and keep pulling it tight uh, you want all your pages to be tight together so uh, that's important um, what kind of thread you use uh, you could use fishing line like I'm doing here I'm using 30 pound test fishing line which is probably a little overkill but it's what I had uh, I like to use cross stitch thread uh, I think that's it's a kind of a, um, several threads bound together or um, twirled together I think and uh, there so that's usually pretty strong and you can also go to Hobby Lobby I think and buy just or any craft store any fabric store and buy actual book binding thread so that would that would obviously be good number seven you're gonna connect it to the second signature so when you come out of the first signature that last time you're not going back into the first one at all you're gonna go into the first hole on the second one and then you're going to go out the second hole on the second signature and you're going to wrap it around the second hole threads on the first signature again you ought to look at the diagram the diagram kind of helps a lot uh, here's that diagram you see how it's looped around the hole and you're just going to keep doing that from uh, all the way down again I recommend you go back pause it look at the diagram real hard you'll see what I'm talking about so I just kind of keep going all the way down and um, one hole at a time being careful not to get my string tied in knots being careful to check where I'm at and always pulling it tight as I go Uh, this is not the first book that I've done this way. Uh, I used to bind books a lot. In fact, I've got another video, uh, one of the very first videos that I ever made uh, on handmade or handmade books or binding a book or sketchbook. Um, it was extremely popular back in like 2012, I think. So, no, not 2000. Yeah, 2000. I don't know. Somewhere back then back in the day anyway so I haven't done it in a while uh, but a friend of mine from Instagram suggested that I do this because uh, I don't know if you saw the other videos um, there's a couple of videos that I did drawing crows and I decided I want to do an entire book of crows so this particular book has got 25 pages that have been folded in half and sewn together so that 25 actually translates into about a hundred pages a um, hundred pages front and back right so um, I might be biting off more than I can chew but we're gonna see what happens and I will try and make a video of uh, most every time that I do a crow so um, do a hundred crows I might have to do a whole nother YouTube channel or I might do some crows on two pages you know like open it up to two pages and do it across the two pages we'll see I don't know I'm just playing this by ear I've already started the cover for this book and it's looking pretty good so far I'm going to post a video for it later on if all goes according to plan and I don't lose any footage um, it required a uh, couple pieces of mat board or a piece of mat board you can use cardboard or you can use the back of a pad of paper or something you know the the chipboard cardboard on the back of a pad of paper you know just kind of any stiff uh, paper like material like cardboard or cardstock thick card you know if you glue a few pieces of cardstock together that'd make a good cover anyway that's in the next video so I digress so sewing this book together is really not all that easy um, but it can be done and it's not rocket science 
Um, it might take you a few tries. You may have to rewind the video. You may have to look closely at the seams. You may even have to go back and check out the other video that I did earlier. But the eighth thing that you're going to do is connect the third signature and sew it on. Connecting the third signature is a lot like the second one. And so I made you a diagram here. Uh, pause and look at it. The diagram will help you figure out how you're looping this around and how you're going back in and out of the different holes. Um, I tried to make this video fast enough that it not an hour and a half long, but slow enough that you could catch it. So I'm hoping this is working out all right. By the way, I'm going to actually title my book Corviday. So um, I may not do just crows. I might do any bird in the Corviday family. Crows, ravens, jays. If you got any suggestions of some unknown, unheard of birds, maybe not unheard of, but... Um, relatively unknown Corviday birds uh, send, tell me in the description down below alright so um, once you have the third signature sewn to the book the fourth fifth and every signature after that is the same um, this is by the this by the way is the way that I sew my books together um, there are other methods of book sewing. Uh, this is just kind of the way that I've done it. Um, I looked at a bunch of books back in the early uh, late 90s, I guess, um, on how to make books, and then I came up with a method that worked for me. So, uh, number eight, you're going to repeat. I think I got my numbers all mixed up. I'll go back and change the numbers. But anyway, uh, the next step is to sew the rest of the signatures together in the same way that you did the third one to the second one. Uh, continuing to go out of the hole, loop it around the thread in between two the, the last two signatures, and then, you know, do it again. All right, I'm just rambling. 12 minutes and 38 seconds is a long time for a video. But I didn't want to speed it up too fast and you not be able to tell what I'm doing. So check it out. Slow it down. Do what you got to do. Awkward silence. So how are y'all doing? I hope you don't have the COVID. I hope that you are well. I hope that uh, you are staying home and staying safe and maybe binding books. That would make, uh, make good use of your time, buying books. Uh, you can start making your own handmade books for a living. Sell them on Etsy. Yeah. Anyway. Um, it was just the 4th of July me and my family went out and watched uh, fireworks well a little bit I had a hard time find, finding a parking spot so we just kind of drove around town number 9 you're going to tie off the end of the thread so basically what I do is I wrap it around the last one sort of like I would normally do and then once it got to the end I made a little loop and I ran the uh, fishing line through it about two or three times and then I pulled it tight and then I cut off excess I didn't cut it off too close because I didn't want it to come unraveled but I cut off the excess. If you're using thread, you can put like a little dab of glue or something like that. And there it is. You can see it real close how each one loops around the 
thread from the signature before it. Uh, I think it actually turned out pretty good. I can't wait to get the cover on it. I don't actually have the cover on it yet. I'm going to do that uh, when I get done with this video. And that's it. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if it helped, if it worked out for you. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And go make some art. In this case, a book. Later.